was bugging. All right, guys, here we are back on the Orange Crush. I'm going to be replacing the vinyl on the panel. Just taking some photos of how these clips came off and where they went. This is my first time ever doing a sunroof. So, I mean, I've taken one out before, but I've never restored it. I haven't put it back in yet. It's Dalton's car. We're gonna get to that eventually. All right, so I'm going to, I got it laid out in the sun, the vinyl, and then I'm gonna get out my heat gun and all my clips and get ready to the vinyl on that piece there <laughs> all right guys boy this is uh more than i expected but live and learn this is folded over this is just a, not much to this for the sunroof cover you have to peel this metal up and this is what's going to go in that track and make it slide back and forth so you don't want to get it all out of shape huh so i'm just trying not to pick it up too much just enough to let the fabric come out and then I guess I'll carefully put it down. I'm gonna clip it over first, let it glue to it, and then fold it over, tuck it in, and trim it. I'm telling you, there's a lot more hours in this than, than I thought, but gotta learn somehow. I don't think I did too bad. I've watched some other videos, and I thought, you know, I had a wrinkle or two, and I'm like, oh man, I wish that was tighter. <laughs> I've seen some where they're just sagging. I'm like, oh my God, I would have ripped that out and did it over again, but you know i mean if it's in your own personal car you know and you can live with it that's fine but if it's someone else's i couldn't do that now see i'm not gonna get this i don't have this material like this and this has a wire i'm feeling a wire in there wow yep wow that's interesting oh well that's what glue's made for i don't need that Check again what's to say i couldn't glue this into it first on a sheet lay it in there pull it back but why not just do click clips first I mean, instead well, let's see they got some foam on here hmm. blow it off and clean this up and get my fabric and my heat gun and give me a station an area to work with all right guys i did just that i took some of this yellow uh super weather strip and gasket adhesive and i took the rod that came out of the center of this and i put a bead of glue right on the edge of this material which is black vinyl and and i went ahead and folded it over and put these clamps on it and i'm gonna let that dry and then that'll give me that good tug i figured what the hell go for it i mean i don't need to stitch it but we have it easy for look at all the dust and dirt I got on that over the years I can imagine all righty where I'm at hey guys I was going to install it yesterday but then I noticed that a chunk was this these pieces are real brittle and a chunk came out right there and this piece would come off the pin so I put some JB weld on here and let it let it harden real well and then it was split on both sides right here across the top so I put some here also now I need to get these off and clean them up and everything. We're going to reuse them. Hopefully that's all right, but my God, these things are expensive. Two of these shipped to the house are $180, according to a video I watched. It was Slade. Let me see. I'd like to give him credit for it. Yes, that's right. There's Slade's VW Beetle and Super Beetle Complete Summer Rebuild. That's what I've been watching. Pretty good informative video on the process of installing your sunroof. So thank you, Slade. So that's what I'm going to do is get this all cleaned up and uh, clean out this track and oil it and then put these back together and give it a move on and get this uh, sunroof back in the car so I can get that job done and that car out of here. All right, I already put these back in here and you get to put these three screws in and then you try to put this down in there and get it in the track. I see that one slides fairly easy. This one doesn't, I hope it doesn't break the cable because this one really is pretty stiff. It's like a little tweak, the tracking is. Uh, then I gotta put the cover down on here. You know, first put the little piece right here that holds these two together so they stay close to the gear and put the gear in there and put the cover down on it and then I can lay the sunroof in there and hook it up. Interesting. We'll see. Hey guys, finally got my sunroof cables in, the left and the right, and a gear cog for the sunroof crank to make sure everything's correct. 
I don't know what that is. That wasn't on the other ones. Maybe it fell off or something, or but everything else looks the same. 73 to 77, Super Beetle, sunroof cable left. Should be it. I guess that might be just a new improvement to keep it from breaking. Could be what that is. We we're going to find out. So that's what I'm going to do today. That sunroof in there, and then I'm probably going to, it would have been easier to paint it on the outside, but I'll just bag the car and some scratches on the sunroof and take care of that, match it to the car. All right, well, let's, let me get on to this. All right, I'm going to. Take the window crank off so I can replace that gear cog in it. That's the right term for it. And then I'll get all the screws out so I can remove the cables out of the track. Yeah, I'm not sure what that that rod is. Hmm. It looks to me like it was better support to keep it from snapping the other side. See how it see it took out the, the piece of plastic here and see how it's angled downward. I don't know if you can notice that. Well that's how those new ones are. And then that rod comes out and rolls on this. We'll find out. Strange. Well, it's a different, maybe it's an improvement. Let me get all these screws out and we'll figure that out. All right, so I got the left one out. As you can see, everything looks the same except for this, whatever the hell that is for. Don't know. I didn't see it on the other one. And as you can tell, there's no place for it. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there was something on there. The whole piece is gone, so it broke off of both of them. So there was no way around it. Needed new ones, and it's not recommended to try to reuse them. The other one's much more kink, but you can see there's kinks in this one. Right there, there, and there. So I'm going to get this nice and oiled up and uh, set it up in there and go to the next one. Made in Germany. All right, I have uh, the right side cable now. I've already fished in the left side. See, it goes on the inside track, so... I'm going to put this one in here. Alright. Now I need to make sure that these go into the holes that they're intended for. There we go. Alright. That one's in the hole. And I need this in here. Alright. Whoops. I'm back out of the hole. I'm in the hole now. Can be a little bit of pain to get everything set up. Let's get this one. I'm gonna get these three screws in here. All right. Well, two of them, not the center one. You can see. I'm tight, but don't get too aggressive with it. Let's make sure this is in the hole. I cannot see with this piece of foam here. The hell out of my way. Right there. A little bit of a pain in that one. All right. Get this up in there. Alright, I'm on the holes. Alright, now what you gotta do is take this, get it into the track, come around, shove the inside one in first. Notice how one's got the black cloth inside of it, fuzzies or whatever you want to call it. The inside one has like a, a beige. Doesn't matter. Get out of there. I want the trash in my track. See, this is the painting part. We'll get my cog in first. Let me go replace that. It's about as much as it was coming out before, so hopefully this will be easy and get on. I got a lot of stuff on my plate today. All right, guys, I got the new gear here. I see some wear marks in it, but I'm gonna save the old gear. You never know. Maybe uh, somebody has a really bad worn gear and this one will get it by. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this one. Let me clean this up a little bit. Come out, put a little bit of lithium grease down in there. Whoa, messy, messy, messy. Oh well, it should be nice and lubricated now. It doesn't matter which way it goes. You flip it over, it just winds up being the same way. So, and apparently it's got little splines in it. Boy, that doesn't slip on there as easy as that one did. And that might be a lot of the cases where it strips is right in the center. Huh, maybe it needs to be knocked on. Yeah, I think it's on. Let's go on down. Oh, yeah. Be a nice fit. Alrighty. That's it. Oh, you know what? Damn it. That washer went below there. Pay attention, Greg. All right, I gotta get it back off. Great. Don't make the same mistake as me. A bit fit tighter on there than the original one, so put your little spring washer in there. Put your cog back on. Gear, whatever you want to call it. Don't want to do that again. 
that clip in there. There we go. He's on there. Spins freely. New cog. Gear. Whatever. You get the idea. Alrighty. Get back to putting this thing in there. Guys, if you can see with the crazy sun, but I put this gear mech sunroof crank back up here. Alright. That is in there. Now you gotta put this back down on it. Let's get my cable stuffed into its groove. Pain in the butt. I think it's in there, and I'm not going down. Oh, I hope this thing turns easily. It should. Brand new cables. Wait, you know what? I see a problem. Great. One thing I think didn't consider at the time is I need to try and get these cables at about the same distance. And I seem to recall Slade saying, put them about, okay, get this out of the way. Put them at about the same distance, which is about half go back out about a half inch from the stop take it that's about it right there and then it'll get bolted to the sunroof so i put them at about the same okay so i'll lay that right there let's make this one this one back out of there and get this one about the same spot like right about there it's about right i may be up for a little bit more adjustment I don't know, you gotta be careful. I sliced my fingers, I think, about three or four times on the edges of, uh-oh, my little clip. Hopefully, that is it. But boy, what a pain in the to get these cables to lay down in order to get this piece on there. Ugh, I think that's it. Hey guys, so I'm back on it. I took up the track thing several times because I couldn't figure out why it was binding. And then I got smart. <laughs> and took the gear back off. And I started playing with that. I said, maybe it's not binding. Maybe it's something to do with the gear. So I took the gear back off and I started spinning it, just spinning freely one way. Then spin it the other way like 40 times. And all of a sudden it come to a dead stop. I mean, nothing you can do about it. And I'm like, what the hell? So I got, like, I got to thinking and I was, looked how it went up in there. And uh, it was gonna have to turn in this, this way because they were already dead headed at the back where the cables are short up here. And uh, you already had to go this way. There was no other way of going this way because it was deadheaded so i just spun the thing all the way the direction until it stopped and it could only go back the other way and i stuck it there apparently it was already spun one way and not the one way it needed to be i stuck it up in there everything's fine and then i noticed when it came up here that it uh, this one was reaching the stop before the other one so i just took it back up out of the cover and picked up this cable and matched it or laid it back down put the centerpiece back down in it and then put my screws back down and now they're both dead and they're right where they're supposed to be so now all i gotta do is uh lay these sunroof back on it and, and attach all my hardware and everything and i've got to figure out how this goes back on there i'm not sure so i have to look back in the video i don't think uh slade shows it in his video i may be mistaken but uh, I have to watch that again. I don't want to put it in and I have to take it back out. So let me figure that out. Figured out this apparatus. Put the pins on the side and screw that into there. I'm going to, once I get all this in there, I knew I was going to have problems. Yes, I'm going to come back and sand these pieces. I just want to make sure it's operational and everything works fine. Then I can just take the panel back out and then I'll paint the panel separately. I just don't want to paint anything until I make sure it's all functioning properly. If you're curious, I mean, it's in a lot of extra work, but uh, poor planning. Brings on mistakes. All right, so that'll be sitting there, and then I take it to the sunroof. We'll push on this, and when it goes past, it will come up, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put that on after or what. We will see. Interesting. First time for everything. If you can, all the noise going on, uh, I'm getting my extra shot. Building finished. It's gonna be great. Dummy me put this on backwards, but it wasn't easy, but I figured it out. Let's see if it works now with that guard or whatever it is. Oh, it's a little too far forward now. Huh, something's not adjusted right. So it wants to go further. There's an adjustment in the center right there. So I'm too high. Oh, but this is kicked sideways and that one's not. So, okay, there's my problem right there. All right, I'm learning. It was a little tough at first figuring out that it was the gear hanging up and it wasn't a cable oh there you go Mike. hey look at that i put that in here and it works imagine that all right let's try that still see still a little too close to the front so let's let's try this and this a little bit that's a half half a turn in all right see that flat tip right there 
This is where you loosen that and adjust this so it pushes it up. I remember that in the video. All right, well, I'm gonna go get cooled down. I am burning up. That liner looks nice. It's gonna be a sharp ride. All right, guys, I finished it. I'm happy with it, but I decided I'm gonna most likely take all these pieces out, paint this up, paint this piece, and then I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna mask around the edges and I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna paint it in there because it was a pain to get it just right. Lots of adjustments. And that, see, it's all the way up there now. And then now the last thing I need to do is of course put that panel in there, but I'll do that after all the painting's done. You want to take this and see it's gonna stow itself in there. So I want to, this is in the closed position, so I want to put this right there so the handle goes up in there. And now we have functioning sunroof. Look at that, that's sweet. I might need a lubricate or put something on those. That sun visor thing is down. There we go. Yeah, that stows it so I'm not pushing it, forcing anything. All right, I like that. That is sweet. So that's how you put the sunroof in it. And I've seen that one guy takes the panel and bows it a little bit and it just has to go into these slots right here. I'm not sure if I want to do that with mine. So I'll go back and, and look for someone else that's putting that in there before I attempt that. But all it does is I would imagine we would put it, if it was to do that, I'd go back, pick it up, slide it up in the groove with a bow and then it's got to pop into these right there, those square holes. Sweet, I like it. Let me clarify if I didn't say it. I'm gonna get my shoes off. But uh, yes, I, these screws back here, loosen them, and then you push this up and it extends itself. And that's that wheel that when it comes up to that stop, it pushes itself up and then makes this, the end of the back of the sunroof, bury itself up into the roof. So you wanna push these up, loosen that, push them up, tighten them where, they're, where it's up there, and then it will set itself up. You just adjust it to where it's gonna be level. It can go further out and you'll get some wind noise in it then. So, and then you have that adjustment here. And I took the flat tip screwdriver and opened it up some and stuck it back here because it looked like it reached sooner over there so I adjusted this and then I adjusted this at a slight angle so the cable would be a little longer on this side yeah and so then it would take itself and not reach there as soon as it did so it's just a, a little bit of fine tuning and uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was it's just in the beginning you don't really know anything until you you learn by trial and error and yeah I know how to do it now all right that's uh, it for installing a sunroof in a 1974 I think it would be from 73 to 77 so that's what you would be looking for this style because uh, 72 is different on my son's super beetle so that's it team me hand out keep a bugging people all right guys i'm back on to the orange crush fixing this one there is some clip holes that are busted out and it's still nice on the other side see the center bracket needed to be weld back in it was all tweaked and it was bowing out out in the front and then we're gonna have to see about getting another i mean he's got these custom seats to, that are already you know the mounts are put in the floor and everything i'm gonna clean those up and put them in the in the car you know you don't want to have to buy a whole new set of seat covers just to cover the rear seat or half the rear seat so we're gonna have to keep our eyes open for something like that it needs padding this one's decent i mean this one just needs cleaned up and i've got some pieces over there for the, the lower piece that holds the brace for the lower rear seat i'm painting that i got my nuts and bolt or my custom seats still gonna paint that top sunroof i've got to go match some paint for it i'm gonna put the brace across it like i said and put the lower seat in i've got to get all the seat belts together and put them in and glue that back down over there and put these door panels back in after they dry some glue on them and get on with this car and it just kind of bites at the top end of that seat uh, all sun baked and everything but we'll figure it out an option it'd probably be best, best to keep an eye out for a rear seat even if you have to buy the upper and lower it'd be cheaper than spending 180 dollars to get a bunch of seat covers you don't need now unless somebody's got a rear seat and, and they don't need it covered but they want their front seats covered <laughs> we'll see what options come up hey guys so i uh, i got this custom seating in it and it really looks nice 
They come forward in the back seat, the backrest for the rear seat is all sunburnt at the top. I might have mentioned it before. So we're going to keep an eye out for another one because you can't buy the whole kit, like I said. So I've got everything in here except for that. And you can see my seats work really nice. Custom tracking down here I welded in and uh, they sit nice. They're, they're a lot lower than stock seats. So I don't know how that'll feel, but I think I'm going to be dealing with the same thing in mind with those Sirocco seats. Like uh, Derek said, the son of T. Greg on the yeah 73 Beetle that I bought. Well, that's where I'm at as far as I can go. I got my visors up there and my rear view mirror. And all I had was these white old visor holders. He didn't have any, so I just stuck those up there until he buys something, the ones he wants, black ones. So. so that's where I'm at with this one. Move on to something else until we get some more parts for this and go ahead and get my paint for, for the top sunroof. And I can put the panel in that's back there. So that's where we're at with the, the Orange Crush. Hey, you guys, these are the metal custom running boards for the uh, 74 Super Beetle and I just repainted them and they look nice. So I've, I've already put the thread zerts in the slide because you couldn't find the holes, they were all covered up. So there you go, that's done. And uh, now I'm going to get ready to paint the sunroof panel. All right guys, I've got it all bagged and had some damage or scratches uh, getting the sunroof out actually. And I went through all the trouble to adjust it and get it in there. I was going to take it back out and paint it. But after all the trouble that it takes to adjust it in there, I just said, the hell with it, I'll bag the car. No big deal. So I'm going to paint it now. All right, that's a couple of coats. Looks a lot better. Maybe one more right where the work was done. And then uh, yeah, I see a little speck. I'll get it with a piece of mask and tape. All done with that. I'm really happy with it. Just put uh, two medium coats on it. I want it to outblast and outshine the rest of the car. But I am going to be cleaning up the car and, and buffing it and mildly, you know, and polishing it up. So it's been sitting around and going through a lot of things. And you can feel a little roughness on the finish, which is typical. So that's that for that. I'll let it dry and then pull all the masking off. And then I've got to put brand new shocks in the rear. Those are the adjustable ones, adjust them all up. And still with me, I could make it bounce. You put some people in it, it's really gonna bounce or it's gonna bottom out, should I say. All right, well, that's that for that. Still awaiting for a rear seat backrest. Oh yeah. If you want to see inside here. Hey guys, it's Dalton. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, and have a just bungin' over there.